Hello, I've played a lot of old school RuneScape over the years, probably too much. And now, as an excuse to play even more RuneScape, I'm finally exploring what our beloved pixel game has turned into, RuneScape 3. Hello and welcome back, or if this is your first time viewing one of my videos, welcome. So firstly, as you all can probably hear it, I invested in a new microphone. Hopefully this fixes the audio quality and makes it a little bit more enjoyable for you all to listen to, as well as for me to listen to while I'm going back through and editing this. Um, so hopefully I don't have to mess with the audio as much and hopefully pick up the pace that I can put out some episodes. But with that being said, this episode will be a little bit different just because I really want to focus on getting some combat skills up and some other skills just at a good baseline before I just continue to start diving right back into quests. Um, so with that being said, I am going to probably work on getting at least base like 20 or 30 combats. Um, so yeah. We'll see you again when I have a few more combat levels. And that is 20 strength. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get up to 30 and then start working on attack and defense. And that is 30 strength. And now it's time to switch over to attack and then it'll be defense. And that is 20 attack right there. And that is 30 attack. And that is 30 hit points. And that is 30 defense. So that is all of my main combat skills up to 30. And time to upgrade out of this iron armor that I've been wearing since I got up to level 10. So I will be back with some new upgrades once I figure out how to make money and actually buy the armor that is in the shop in Varrock. I think it's Varrock. Um... But on the bright side, during this, we got a lot of seeds for farming grinds. We got some herbs for higher level herb lore and potion making. But yeah, so I think before I start on the next grind, which will be magic, I am going to figure out how to make some money so I can buy myth mithril armor. All right, so this might not be the most efficient way to make money, but I decided to just do some smithing and smith bronze plate bodies um because they don't take i can do iron plate bodies but those take quite a while to smith on the anvil um so i think bronze plate bodies are going to be a good move i mean they sell for 125 each um so every couple of plate bodies i'll get a k i don't need too much money um actually that's a lie because of a plate body I think the mithril plate body is like 12k in the shop in Varrock. Um, so for a full set, that will be a lot of bronze plate bodies that I have to make. Um, but I might do that for a little bit just to kind of get started while I try to rack my brain around potentially some other ones that I can make, uh, some other ways that I can make money um, that maybe don't and honestly suck as much as mining and smithing also one thing i forgot to mention i believe so in any of the past videos is that i did go and pick up the wicked hood because that is something i saw in like the first or second epi episode when i was recording that i couldn't get because i wasn't a member yet um but from what i understand about this it gives you a hundred essence per day which is really nice um it gives you a variety of runes you can gather the runes that you have over here and then you can teleport to the appropriate rune crafting altar doing it um so every time i've been logging in i've been trying to do a good job of making sure i collect my rune essence every day and then hopefully down the road i'll do you know a little bit of a longer rune crafting grind supply myself with some runes i don't know how to actually get the other like teleports or the other um ability to get runes from this if i had to guess it's probably by the talismans i haven't gotten another talisman other than the air and mind one yet so i don't know for sure but just using some of my prior knowledge and knowing how RuneScape typically works, I am fairly confident that I just have to get a talisman to be able to access the other altars and also the ability to collect some of those runes from the hood. Um, so I just wanted to note that because 
I know somebody would eventually comment that I should get this. I already have it. I've already been collecting Essence. I have 301 Essence and then 180 from the chest in the Wizard's Tower. So definitely will be doing a room crafting grind to supply myself once I get into some higher level um, magic content. So I already have the stack of runes and I don't have to worry about it down the road. All right, and that is 30 magic. So the only other combat I have is range, which I might actually save for a little bit later. I might go ahead and continue to make more money and do some other quests. The only thing about magic that I absolutely have no clue about so far is the spells and when runes are actually used um because i believe i had this auto casting and it wasn't okay maybe i'm just an idiot but yeah i didn't use any runes that whole time so i don't know if what i just clicked actually got it to work but i was messing around with it for a little bit and still used no runes so um that's something else that I will probably just have to figure out. Okay, so I started the quest to upgrade my necromancy gear, and I need to make regular ghost ink, which requires vile water, ash, and the necroplasm, I think the lesser version. So got the vials, vial of water from the herb lore shop, and now it's time to get ashes and there's probably a better way but i think what i'm going to do is kill imps because that is the only way i've gotten ashes before i don't think i have any in the bank no i don't okay yeah so hope oh, i have one um but yeah it looks like i'm gonna go kill some imps and i really don't know where the best spot to find them at i think i'm just gonna kind of wander around and find a couple and be back with more ashes all right after about 10 minutes of walking around and killing imps and not getting a single ash i finally decided to use my brain cells and just burn logs and wait for them to burn out and get the ashes that way so Critical thinking skills are still important in this game, as I am finding out every single time I log in and think I know what I'm doing, and then I sit back and think for maybe five minutes and realize maybe I didn't think that all the way through. But I will be back closer to the end of a quest. After running around for 10, 15 minutes, I finally got the ink that I needed. I finally bought the other stuff that I needed to actually do the ritual. And now I actually have the tool set upgraded. So now I have to walk all the way back over here and see what the next step is that I will need to do to upgrade my gear. And that is the quest completed. And now I can actually upgrade some of my things to tier 20 and later down the road, be able to learn more equipment upgrades. So I'm going to see what I need for the tier 20 upgrade. I don't care. Okay, so I need cloth, 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 cloth. Okay, so this for, I need insold bars. So I would assume that I could use any bars, so like bronze bars. And then I would just need to use, insole them at the altar i'm gonna go ahead and try that i actually think i have cloth and bars in my inventory or in my bank if i don't i can go back and get those pretty quick okay so i actually went back to the ritual selection and figured out that for the bar i need a lesser uninsold bar which i have no clue how to get and then for the cloth i need to use spider silk robe pieces um and then if i ever needed thread just one thread so i don't know that'd be under crafting spider silk gloves is 20 boots is 21 okay so i need to get like mid 20 crafting so i can work on that and then upgrade my gear but i don't think i'm going to do that right this second um, I think I'm actually going to bust out some more quests because I know I, I've already started a few um, and there's a couple more that I wanted to try out. 
and just completed violet is blue too and i'm going to use those lamps all on construction because i probably won't be able to do construction for a while so that gets me up to level 20 construction 28 construction those were huge all right but yeah 28 construction and that is diamond in the rough completed which is potion completed if this top hat isn't absolutely giant i'm going to be really upset that i can't wear it no amount of therapy will help me comprehend and get over what just happened off screen and that is Ernest the Chicken completed. Surprisingly, because I've made so many old school RuneScape accounts, I pretty much remembered the whole puzzle room step by step. It only took me like two or three additional wrong things to figure it out. So that quest turned from being super long and annoying to super short because of how many <laughs> RuneScape accounts I've had over the years. Vampire Slayer completed. Okay, this is sick. I wish this was how every magic carpet ride was i'm kind of hoping that this is how all the magic carpet rides are in this game because this is sick than just like the little cutscene that osrs has um i mean i obviously don't love having to like just fucking click everywhere but this is cool just being able to see everything kind of go at your own pace and see your character on it flying like this this is one place i never thought i'd be able to go to in runescape what a absolute glow up from what it is <laughs> well what it was and what it is right now in osrs brother this guy stinks the jack of spades completed all right so i've unlocked a relic i've no clue what these do is this like for a time period or uh, i don't know if this is just for like a time period or if it's like no, I think it's consistent. Teleport spell. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. There's a lot of these. So now just to finish up this path. And this archaeology seems like a really cool skill. I really, again, like I haven't heard much about any of the new skills. So this skill seems to like really help out with pretty much any of the other skills that you would train. So it seems like a really useful addition, something to make maybe the early game a little bit more bearable or just a little bit quicker. Um, but I might just have to kind of browse the wiki a little bit and see what I can figure out from there um, to figure out like really how helpful the skill can be for early game. So then I know if I need, if I should train it or if I should just kind of leave it until a little bit further down the road. Oh, wow, I was not expecting this boat to give me a cutscene. What the fuck is this thing? Still have no clue what I got myself into when I went on this boat. Oh, but it, oh okay, it has a lodestone. Oh, I can't build it. Wait, what? So this is like the kingdom in OSRS. Yeah. This is like a cooler version of the kingdom. Okay, that makes sense. So then I'm assuming I get resources that they collect like again like kingdom and osrs like can i i'm assuming that i get to keep the resources they collect and can use them all right well i am here on this new island i have no clue what it does so i think i'm going to take some time and read up on the wiki to see what this place actually does if it's similar to um kingdom in osrs in terms of you know do I get supplies from it? Is it actually useful for me to do? But I think that is where I'm going to end off on the episode. You're going to research this island and see what it does and then continue on next episode. So as always, I appreciate all the support and comments and I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you.